<laughs> yes, we hey, are. Welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. <laughs> What's going on, people? And I'm Sean Edwards. Uh, we have, of course, if you see us, you know we have new movies to talk about. Thank you, Nick, with the assist. <laughs> That's right. That's a little inside off camera stuff going on right, right now. Let's get down to the main business. Though. All right. Well, N Lenexa Kansas native. Lenexa in the house. Mm -hmm. America's Got Talent winner. Grace Vanderwall stars in the Disney Plus musical Hollywood Stargirl, a sequel to the 2020 film Stargirl. Now, when she and her mom moved to the West Coast, this young singer Stargirl gets involved with her neighbors trying to make a movie. Hey, Kim Burns, check this out. I love this movie. Uh, Hollywood Stargirl is quirky, charming, and infectiously optimistic. It's a nearly perfect film, gently hitting the YA sweet spot with a story you want to root for, a vibe that will add zest to your life, and a lead character, like you said, Russ, Grace Vanderwall. She's exceptional. She's going to be a star, and you can't help but love her in this movie. Now, while it's totally predictable and it's filled with anachronistic music that would have come from Stargirl's grandparents' generation, Hollywood Stargirl is still a very sweet nature movie that should appeal to its target demographic of preteen girls and their grandmas. Do we have a, a dictionary.com graphic? Because what was the word you just said? Anachronistic. What does that mean? It's from the old days. All right, I feel like I just took the SAT. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was, I, I would have missed that one. Uh, but the ingredients are all there, Russ. Um, this is directed by Julia Hart, and she has baked one delicious cake. Um, dreams are endorsed and ambitions are validated in this sun-washed teen romance that focuses more on the possibilities of life and less on love. This is a great sequel, unlike last week's Top Gun, oh. which was stuck in neutral. Well, I'm going to give a Star Girl, a Hollywood Star Girl, three popcorn bags. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood Star Girl, four popcorn bags. It's really a great film. I mean, for the audience it's intended for, good stuff. Respect the demo, right? Yeah, respect the demo. It's great stuff, good stuff. Actress Micah Monroe is becoming something of a horror scream queen. In the creepy thriller Watcher, she plays an American woman who moves to Bucharest with her Romanian husband, and there she becomes convinced she's being watched <laughs> and followed by a neighbor who she suspects is a serial killer. Is she paranoid, or are her fears legitimate? You know what? Russ, the watcher is all Micah Monroe, and she's exceptional in this artsy but well-executed suspense thriller that heightens the fear factor with smart location choices and hauntingly beautiful cinematography. Yeah, filmmaker Claudio Kuno explores some of that stranger in a strange land genre, but adds a couple of ghoulish twists. And Sean, it's overly familiar. It is. It is. But Monroe's strong performance is the thing that makes Watcher watchable. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's nothing you haven't seen before in terms of the story. Mm -hmm. However, there is a sophistication in the execution that makes it unique and terrifying. Three popcorn bags for me. Four popcorn bags for Watcher. All right, now, well, we got some local, local filmmaker that's in the right. house. The Dreams of Renee Sendam is a locally shot experimental film from Lawrence writer-director Joshua Nathan. It's now available on uh, video on demand, and it's all about a, a troubled young man whose dreams invade his waking life or nightmares, I guess I should say, and it inter complicates all of his interpersonal relationships. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's not the best, but you can clearly tell that uh, this filmmaker has a lot going on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really ambitious, yes. and you can tell that down the road, Joshua Nathan, he's got a future. Yeah, I'll give it three popcorn bags. I agree, three popcorn bags. All right, and finally tonight, yeah, tonight. Been talking about this for weeks. Come and join me as I talk about my life, career, and of course, movies. Like this movie, The Graduate, which is one of my all-time favorite films ever. Me too. Yeah, I mean, come on, you can't beat it. So we agree on that one, right, mm -hmm, Dustin absolutely. Hoffman? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a classic. Uh, we're going to have a conversation tonight at 2000 Vine. Come through. It's free. We're going to do some film and food pairings. That's free. Um, if you're an adult, we're going to have some drinks. And also, if you're an adult, it's for you. So please leave the kiddos at home. <laughs> This is not like one of those appearances where I speak at schools. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be more like um, what Richard Pryor might have done in uh -oh. his hay. So, yeah, leave the kiddos at home. Leave the kiddos at home, please. This is for adults. It's first Friday. That's Call the babysitter week, or text the babysitter. <laughs> Do they have an app for babysitting? <laughs> is there an app for that now? I think that's uh, your million-dollar idea, my friend. Yeah, oh, well, let's you do go. it. A babysitting app. Nick, Kim, 
You saw Top Gun, right? Yes. It was oh, Nick saw it. It was so fun. It was the but I couldn't get you and Russ <laughs> out of my mind. That's because unfortunate. You guys were spot on. It was like Russ said it's gonna be a thrill ride, it's gonna be a great escape, you're gonna love all of the action, and then I thought about you with those with the with the uh, the Star Wars the Star Wars reference. Yes, I got that one, and then I got the beach reference, and then also the uh, the uh, what was the uh, Chuck Yeager reference? Okay, that's why uh, we there. love you. That's yeah. why we love you, Nick. Yeah, man. I love that. you. You should run for office, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice and political, man. Right down the line, man. Mister Mister Switzerland. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, we have some breaking news to tell you about. Shawnee City Hall will be closed all day today. That's due to a small fire there. No one was hurt. Uh, there's not a lot of damage, but again, they are closing. All right, and we'll be right back.